What's up guys, this is The Rifleman, and I am back bringing you the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the United States. Um, so to kind of run off up in the last part, um, I pretty much defended Berlin from my Prussian attack and knocked them back absolutely in superb fashion. And then towards the end of the episode you did notice how the Prussians have started a push into France. Probably with their sights set onto Paris. So this army under Howard Wether Wetherill... Um, was originally going to be a field army. Uh, instead, they will become a garrison and get back inside the fort. Because they do not get that good of a garrison in Paris just yet, for they do not trust me. So I think I will get rid of these horse grenade guards and this household cavalry. And recruit some more um, infantry. And this artillery form may or may not go to reinforce. So it's this army under Dietrich Gerdes. Dietrich Gerdes, Gerdes. Actually, what I may do is take so this army. Oh, sorry, we're hitting the microphone. This army needs to replenish. Sir, your orders. This army needs to. Nope, they're fully ready to rock and roll. So what this army Sir. may do? Hmm. I don't want to engage them in this direction and push them back. So I'll probably just move them up. Hey. This army that he's got. Uh -huh. Yeah, plenty of artillery. Yep, yeah, you're going up into there. I think they're waiting on anything. One unit of marines. Okay. Need to be very Sir. careful with this army, because if they move, they will be fighting all three of these guys at once. Sir. Let's send this army up as a blocker Troops. to interfere with armies coming in to reinforce. Same with you guys. Go up here. To create a bit of a barrier to stop them from funneling more reinforcements and maybe to threaten this pocket of Prussian troops as they're all pretty weak. And there is this army down here which if they want to um, to move they will have to be, able to be forced to engage the fortress. And it looks like they may already have done. Okay, so up here in Britain. Okay, so let's get my let's get army building again. Yes. Two guns, two guns, and you'll get some guards, good. Sir. How about you? Again. You're carrying some guns, you aren't getting some guns. Get some howitzers as well. Get some... Get some blend of a shotgunners as well, if you're going to be capturing fortresses. Then add in some Continental Marines. I need a line. Fearless can become the Admiral's flagship. Reading, 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 reading. That general has unfortunately perished. So is it possible? Sans howitzers. Ready and waiting for our orders. And do the old switcheroo. Awaiting further orders. Perfect. Yes. Let's embark this army Sir. back to back onto the ships. Bring them back to Newcastle to reinforce. Ships orders. Mm, go in. So this is a trick that I found out does work. So the problem with Napoleon, not Napoleon, with Empire, when you recruit, is that, say this unit of 76 or 46 men... Um, they will gain 
they will gain a load of new troops and their efficient their um veteran seekers down. However, were I to do this, it's a way to increase the unit size while maintaining veterancy. And then it means that when I recruit, um, there will be fewer new people, quote unquote, in the unit, so they should retain their veterancy better. So it does mean I've lost some, you know, two units of Marines, which I need to re recruit, but it does mean I get more. I either get, you know, a unit of fresh Marines plus a unit of average Marines, or I can actually get. You know, get a unit of marines which can be stay is very experienced and work themselves at the tiers. Diplomacy, Spain. Of course, everyone's hostile because I'm just so powerful. But let's just all try trade with everyone. Fair enough. So, so I suspect I'm probably going to get the Prussians to attack me in Paris next turn, which is okay I think I would probably like to reinforce Paris a bit just because it is Paris and repair the fort so down here in the Balkans I am back at war with the Ottomans, but that's okay. So let's take this army down here, lay siege to Jerusalem, and bring this army up in here to block any eastern flank flanking of their troops. Got a great arsenal. Good, my investment here is still going good. Good. Okay, I do need to start. I need to eventually end up breaking the back of the uh, the Prussians on this army. He's taken a hammering from an assault. Yeah, sure has by the looks of it. But probably at the cost of many, many dead Prussians. Okay. Yes. Oh, I left the rockets behind. Nuts. So let's get this navy. Into port. Ready and waiting. Ready and waiting uh, embark the rockets. Forward. Forward. And just keep them here for now. Then just go back on raiding. Good. So I'm tempted. To... Mm. Okay. Start stoking a religious unrest. So I'm inclined to hit end turn because I want to see if they do attack my port, or if they do attack my uh, if they do attack Paris. And the Marathas are still there. I'm more than happy just to let them sit there in that port. Right now, it's not doing anything any, any damage to me. Let's get the Junior Fusiliers moved out. Great there, cool. I'm at peace with Spain because I can't afford to do anything else. And this army up here can stay because they're going to be the one that bounces around and recaptures my forts. So has Boston still got. Yeah, Boston, Philadelphia, sorry, does not have many people. Sir. Although this army is ready to go. Recruit some fours to shit them over. Oh no, wait, there we go. Let's take this army, fleet under Clipsby Colville. Embark the fleet. Embark the army, sorry. Get them over to Europe. The only thing I would like to do is where I've got a spare navy, i.e. here, 
rocket ships and Samuel Lang then. Langlands. Take this fleet, ship them off to the West African Trade Theatre. Because now is the time to start. Oh, because this is. Pirates, bomb catch, brigs, sloops. Mm. Don't recruit Indiamen. You don't recruit Indiamen in Dependent Total War because there's not really a need for it. So. What should I recruit? What is a suitable um, trade ship? Indiamen, merchantman, thirds, heavy privateer, carronade, privateer, galley, light galley, bomb, kedge, brigs, and sloops. Uh, it's just a privateer, it's a close thing. I mean, I know privateers are pirates, but. At least they could capture people's, they capture people's ships for loot. Start stacking up some privateers. Sweet. All right, let's hit and turn and see. Ah, uh, yes. Let's hit and turn and see what happens. Although we're going to be, <laughs> we're going to be close to the point where I won't need schools at all. All right, and turn. Let's see what the Prussians elect. I do want to make America my uh, a, a world domination campaign. I don't want to. I do want to finish off um, this campaign as being a world dom. Which means, once to, which means ultimately, once I beat the Prussians, there'll really be no one in India, no one in Europe to stop me. Sorry. So then the big fight will be the final grind in India, where I'll have loads pushing through. Afghanistan and Iran then I'll have loads of oh, I'll just have so many stacks landing at once on every single ship on their coast it will be an amphibious operation the likes of which the world has never seen did formies the Westphalians are regrouping and they'll probably go for Amsterdam again I do hope I manage to Oil that needs to be lanced. Fire and sword. That's what is needed. Good. Those two armies soup are serving well enough as a shield. They've pushed west anyway to attack my port. Just fine. Ah, they're doing an, an economic campaign, so I'll need to engage these land. I'll engage these stacks. In the field. Fair enough. Well, I do need to send some forces on the offensive. Can't I can't just sit here being on the defensive? Not all this time. Opportunity to intercept. No, I just want to resolve that. We shall rule the waves. First rate ship of the line. I'll take it. If only the Russians would pull their finger out. Oh god, look at all those troops. Oh, big, big, big battle. Oh, wow. Well, men, your job will be to hunker down and pour fire. By god, pour fire indeed. <laughs> so how many is that? Not as many as you think. So it's 2,700 buses. So my army, our armies are pretty equal. They're reinforced by almost 7,000 more. So let's do it. On the battlefields of Alsace-Lorraine. By now. So I don't think things are going to go too... Well, I don't think they're going to go badly at all. We're going to fill the field with Prussian dead, reinforce, and we could start pushing forces out of um, Kaliningrad, not Kaliningrad, Konigsberg, 
Ooh, oh, there would be a town in the way, wouldn't there? I think I'm going to pull out of the town, sort of. None of these areas are great. Well, let's get everyone out of the way first. Okay, I'm going to need my spread my artillery out. Trying to get a formation in this in, in this position is going to be a bit funky. So that's uh, not this battery good. So let's put new grenadiers in there to hold the village. Get more formation out here on the flank, facing that direction. Backed up by two units of line and a guard unit on this flank. So it's group you and you and you've all been committed. You've been committed. You've been committed. She might position my heavy artillery out here as well. Because he should have quite a good field of fire, so I might require. An additional unit of line to come out and deploy, and then to keep a unit of lancers here in support. How it's unit on the left. How it's unit on on the right. Sorry, how it's unit in the centre left. So then unit's got to play with these two. We should be okay. Might have to pull them up, which means they might get a bit of a hammering. Deploy some grenadiers and supports. Guard mode on for my grenadiers. Group them up. You need have lancers to protect them on the left. them sadly. General in the centre. Is that everyone? That is everyone. Radio and my house is deployed. They are. Artillery. Shrapnel. You guys quick climb shot. Devastating shots from the from the uh, howitzers straight away. 75 men on that unit of line of unit. Almost oh, 75 again on that unit. Holy moly. Okay, so they are engaging in counter battery fire. You cast a shot that regiment of horse that's coming right at you. You quick climb that unit of horse that's coming right at you. Yeah, destroy one of my gun teams. Okay, the regiment of horses being engaged. Form square, bit too late. Get my lancers in. You hit that unit of dragoons. Oh, 
Oh man, hearts coming in. You hit that unit of QRCS. Come on, just clip the corner of the square. Good, so you lose your charge. I'm going to get my horses back to the square to force them to engage it. You may as well keep bombarding the, arti the um, artillery at the rear because there's nothing really that's too much of a threat. Because I want them to hit my square. So it's a unit of grenadiers in square formation. They should be able to do a lot of damage to their cavalry. So you see they've gone from down to half. Bridge my horse still coming in. How's everyone? doing shrapnel shot aim that unit of line you are firing shrapnel excellent spread out so that unit of line infantry is going to get some fire on you the cursiers are moving in so move my like, lancers up in response Everyone's engaging. Form your square, man. So that's where the regiment reinforcements are coming in, so I'm probably going to wheel left. Just the one. Bodyguard. Let's pull you back. Shields coming in, lots and lots of damage. You need to hit round shot, horse artillery, artillery, howitzers. You need to hit those howitzers, hit them repeatedly. You round shot, hit that unit of howitzers. Good.
these units could be lost because they're going to keep getting hammered by cavalry. Yeah, they will be lost because lots of cavalry coming in. I don't think I'll be able to sufficiently get them out in time. These two units both have round shot pummel that you know howitzers because they are still firing. To be honest, I think I'd accept I think that's an acceptable trade. They're using, losing a hell of a lot of cavalry trying to destroy those two infantry units. Another general unit. Good, they're back in formation. Lancers are wavering, which is fair enough, because there's only nine of them, so I may as well leave them in the fray. Horse artillery, horse artillery, horse artillery, right, so let's get... Shift my lances over left. You hit the horse artillery unit. Oh, missed that. You hit them. You get stuck in as well, so I've lost a lot of my artillery, so this may not go well for me, because I have the inferiority in guns. In which case, then, where's my lancers? Hit the unit of line. Oh, this may not, this may not go well for me. They are how it says, so if I do round shot, hit that unit of line. Lances onto their artillery. Fact, we should re or just reorientate my line. Form, 
form a square. Everyone keep running. The square should be able to hold off this general's bodyguard. Chase down my fleeing forces. Whoever can be made available for my hold fast. Okay, I need to optimize my battle lines. I think I'm definitely going to lose this, but we will make them pay. Yeah, because my fleeing forces have been caught out. Comes unit cover on the flank. I think some comfort they have annihilated a unit of Prussian artillery. Charge the unit of six pounder horse. Get back to my lances. charge into that unit, but ultimately just try to make as many of them rout as I can, as much of their artillery flee the field as possible. Although it's not going to last. Shot to bits. Back to my infantry line. Good, a unit that was routing has returned straight to be hit into by a unit of Prussian troops. Oh, hit that unit of horse artillery. Is this where a reinforcement army is coming from? Must be. Charge, you must get some fire. My general is in difficulty, however I can't afford to have him sitting idle while my force goes down the tubes. You engage and fire that unit of a line infantry. I don't want to send my guys into the fight, the melee fight, because they will lose. I'd rather have them stay, stay, stay in square formation. I will throw my unit of grenadiers in. To help protect this unit. Because grenadiers are grenadiers. And they are rather good. They don't want to engage them.
does not help that my artillery is bugging out. Let's limber you up and then unlimber you again, see if that does any difference. Hit them, General. Let them get on. Unlimber. Another unit of artillery. Yeah, my artillery is completely bugged out. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yeah. The prime unit of 24 pounders of heavy horse guard artillery cannot work out how to unlimber their guns. This guy's trying to... If I fleet withdraw, they're not moving. I did leave a single army in too exposed of a position, so it's not surprising really that this has happened. Coming in for a, coming in for an assault. Uh oh. Devastating melee fight is going to ensue. Charge bonuses. The glorious 50 second. Is it 50 second? Second, second, no, 60 second, and then just regiment of foot. We finally worked it out. Oh, I could do with some canister right now to blast some Swiss grenadiers. I'm going to assume these two units will either die or will be victorious. If they're victorious, I will rout them back. If not, they will die. But I would like to sit here, form a new gun line, and engage the Prussians as they move on again. To be honest, doesn't really matter what happens to my general out there. Ooh. 
Nimbra pull further back up this hill, I think. Yep, there goes one unit of American infantry. No, keep engaging them actually. If you let them loose, they'll just pick up my infantry. Square. They're going to hit my guns. Maybe. Just. General has heroically died at the hands of German light infantry at the edge of the battlefield. Oh. Concerted artillery fire. Fire on the Swiss grenadiers. No, guns are utterly bugged out. <laughs> this last unit of line. Swiss Grenadiers, ooh, a good mixture. Oh god, they're going in for the final charge. Send in my grenadiers. Withdraw. <laughs> the final retreat. Oh, I've been sent tumbling from the field. Don't like defending in the middle of towns. I'll have a nice big open plain to maximise my firepower. Not that that's an excuse, but just a preference. A preference of mine. Oh, let's just hope I've uh, managed to kill more of, them, more of them than they have of me. Holy moly. I'm going to totally claim this as jet lag. Valiant defeat. I haven't had a valiant anything before. Hopefully that means I got a... <laughs> Either that or it's just, you know, gently patting on the head. Patting on the head. Oh, I just... I just... Just got a bit slightly more favourable exchange ratio. Fall back. Good. My army's still... Broadly intact. But I need to deploy many more armies. I just need to keep churning out forces from everywhere. Like I can't I can no longer count on, you know, if I have this unit and deploy it ready to fight this unit, no, I need to fight it. Ooh, well, ah, uh, I thought the rebellious Ottomans might win. Um, well, that's just totally not fair, so I'm going to auto-resolve that. Undefeated. <laughs> like, same again with that. Victory. Just auto-resolve it. Hmm, nice bit. Oh, go on. Oh, damn. Oh, come on, Russia. Get stuck into Prussia, help me out. Although I have taken Konigsberg. But you've still got a front line. <laughs> it's 
Spain is just Rome at this point. Good, the Westphalians. They could have pushed. They could have con gone for um, Amsterdam. That would have been very frustrating. There is a port in this region that has not yet been developed. Cause of you. Natural causes. John Barry, my admiral. There you go. Natural causes. My rake. Who definitely wasn't doing anything useful there. Ernest Miles has gained some good stuff. Keith Keats has gained some stuff. Enemy raid in Claremont. Enemy raid, raid. Right, raid, raid, raid. So you just go sit in Madrid. Because we are just about having an effect. This army is incomplete. However, they need to get into the fray. Eat artillery. Forward. March. Yes, sir. Make ready. March. Replenishment. You need again one unit of marines. Two units of howitzers and some cavalry is probably what I could do with you. Let's get two units of household cavalry. Good, then you'll be ready to rock and roll. You're just fragments at the minute. Ah, rebellion. Destruction cost, a couple of warehouses. Just keep upgrading it, just in case people start to cause trouble in that part of the world. Aha! A new army arises. Let's deploy you here to cut off this army in Brest. Go back to the States. So let's recruit some recruit some guns. Get some guard inventory or yeah, get some guard inventory, get some Let's go see some light infantry. By the looks of it, I have maxed out my light infantry, so no more skirmishing for me. Engineers it is. Sir. So you're not doing anything useful. You're going up to them. So let's get a general. And let's start doing some good. So I'm in Spain. So Spain. Spain is a bit of theme, we'd get some crossy airs. Okay, yeah, 12 pounder howitzers actually, just to mix it up a bit. Well, I'm going to start running out of, of uh, heavy infantry. Oh, good god alive, Peter Payne. Okay, get some long riflemen out there. Recruit some artillery. They've got skirmishers, not volunteers. Fourth Continental Dragoons. Colonial Lights. Good. Get another United States Army on the right of rock and roll. Heroic Death of Simon Bestor here. Probably pull you back because I don't want you to go the same way. Let's pump you out as an army. Put you inside. 
get them to start working on their next army, starting off with a load of line infantry. Netherlands, loads more recruitment and stuff. Not forgetting my privateers. You're not doing anything, so there's a raid. Successful mission there. Good, good, good. But anyway, looking at the time, I think that's definitely, definitely the end of this part. So, thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you next time.